All right, so if you know how to play the drums already, you're going to have no transitional problems. All right. So here's how I look at it. As far as structural design, the Guitar Heroes World Tour drum kit is made out of silicone. So the pads and the cymbals are all silicone. That right there says a lot to me because of, you know, I know you know what silicone is, but the one thing common use of silicone now is breast implants. If those things can go through everything that it goes through and inside a human body without, and that doesn't have a high rate of, of busting, then this thing's going to be pretty much solid, I feel. However, Harmonix hasn't told us what they've used at this point yet to cover their set, so we won't know until we get it. All right, so there you have it. That's how I feel about the drum kits, okay? Check for Harmonix because of the fact that they kept their original design. Check for Guitar Heroes World Tour because of the fact that I do feel from what I've seen that it's going to be a little bit more sturdier, but that's only until after I get the rock band kit, my hands on it, and fully know what it's made out of, okay? Before I move on to the guitars, let's talk about the Ion Drum Kit just for a second. The Ion Drum Kit is being made for the Rock Band 2 kit, okay? Let me say this right now. All instruments, according to Activision, from Activision side, is going to be able to be used in Rock Band 2, and I'm now assuming that all instruments from Rock Band side are now going to be able to be used in uh, Guitar Heroes World Tour. But I don't want anybody out here, especially Guitar Heroes fanboys, to jump up and down and say, Activision's allowing it. No, they ain't. If you know anything about licensing agreements, if you know anything about what Microsoft puts people through to use their wireless technology for the Xbox 360 especially, you know what I'm about to tell you is the truth. They don't have a choice. This is something Rock Band wanted to do when it came out. Activision has no choice now because they are using Xbox 360s, which is owned by Microsoft's, wireless technology and in their wireless technology agreement it says that if you make any type of wireless technology tool it has to be able to be used across the multitude of the platform so the question may be then how could they block how could they block uh, rock band the first time because it wasn't wireless the fender was plugged in therefore they was able to block it because it wasn't wireless the only thing that was wireless was the Gibson and Rock Band fulfilled their end of things because of the fact that the Gibson did work as well as the Explorer does work with Rock Band 1. So I don't want anybody to get the big kid that really is in love with, with Activision to say they're allowing us. No, they have no choice. It was either say yes to that or you don't get Xbox 360 wireless technology. As far as my PS3 people, I don't know how that works out. Okay, So I, I have no, no clue. Uh, but I know that that's how it works with Xbox. So going back to the Ion set, so in that case, the Ion drum kit, the Rock Band drum kit, and the Guitar Heroes World Tour drum kit should work between both. Here's one other thing I've got to tell you. The one thing I really do like about the Guitar Heroes World Tour drum kit, though, is it does have MIDI capabilities. That means that I, if we get the Ion set, I can MIDI that one into the Guitar Heroes World Tour kit and use that kit in the game, and that should also work in, in, uh, in Rock Band as well. But the Ion kit is $299. Some of the people wrote me asking, do I think it's worth it? Okay, I'm not going to tell you that an Ion kit is the world's best kit because it's not. I am going to say, if you are looking to learn drums, you might want to check into it. But, if you go to Guitar Center, I'm sure you can find something a lot better than that. Am I getting the kit? I've been asked that. I don't know. I'm bouncing between it because I feel like I want to review it and I want to test it out for myself. I want to see if they've made it a better quality known it's going to be beat on. Then again, I don't know. I think it's a ripoff that they're going to charge you an extra 50 bucks just to get the, the third symbol when I thought it was coming with it because to me that's false advertising because every picture I had ever saw of it, it had all three symbols. Okay, So I'll let you guys know if I get the Ion kit. My whole really impression on it is this. If you can use the Guitar Heroes World Tour drum kit and you got the brand new Rock Band 2 kit, I think you have enough kids, dude. You know, I, I think it's going to come down to where you're going to pick the kit that works best for you, and you're going to break one down and put one in the closet. Because now you can have one kit that's going to work across both platforms. You don't have to go switch between two kits. Um, if you have an electric kit, you can already plug yours directly into to the Guitar Heroes World Tour kit, and that's where it brings both. So that's how I feel about those, okay? Let's move on to um, some song, the, the songs. I don't know all of them because you know there's 85 song choices now that uh, are songs that's going to be in Rock Band 2. Technically 100 because uh, Howard Wines is giving us 20 free DLC because they wanted 100 songs on the disc. 
the biggest announcement was probably GNR Shackler's Revenge. Okay? So we got it. Everybody tossed it up. Are we going to see GNR in the game? And I, you know, I've been fighting on the boards because everybody was saying, oh, we're never going to see it because Slash is in, the, is in Guitar Heroes 3 and Slash won't let anybody do it. It ain't Slash. Axel Rose holds all the rights to guitar uh, to uh, Guns N' Roses. Axel Rose has no qualms in letting you guys know that he's the man. This is why it's taking over, what, one, two decades for this one album to come out. And I, I mess. If you look at Harmonics, they shot there to get Shackler's Revenge. So we're going to get a chance to play Shackler's Revenge off the upcoming album that we've been waiting on for about, what, one half, two decades from GNR, The Chinese Democracy. Biggest blow. But here's even the biggest one. Harmonics has now put their first big wager. What they say? They said 500 songs by the end of 08. Sorry, folks. No way Guitar Hero can keep up with that. No way Activision can keep up with that. Activision ain't even got 200 downloadables now for Guitar Heroes 3. This game, this band has been, this game has been out over uh, only eight months, Rock Band 2, and we have over 200 DLC right now. And now they're telling us 300 more total songs. No way they can touch it. Rock Band wins with that. So this is why I say Activision has a lot more to prove. Harmonics is just add a little bit more stake to their game, but Activision has more to prove. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, well, let's talk about a couple that's in Guitar Hero. That if I was a totally hating Guitar Hero, which I don't, I'm sorry, y'all. I would be buying that game if for no other reason than play Van Halen's "How to Teach It." Grew up in the '80s, can't '80s '90s kid. Love Van Halen, one of my favorite songs in the world. Every time the video came on MTV, I was sat right in front of the TV to watch it. So, that song. They've got Bob Dylan, okay? Uh, you know, they've got the Eagles, which Van Halen and the Eagles are supposed to be exclusive to Activision. Uh, ACDC is exclusive to Rock Band. So, they're both pulling things out. But while I'm speaking of songs, let me say this. All this fanboyism, I think, is retarded and needs to go. To show you what I mean, uh, I was watching the videos and I did come across a video of Guitar Hero World Tour and they, uh, they were playing Everlong uh, by the Foo Fighters. And everybody knows that Everlong has been kind of the signature song for Rock Band 2 and uh, it's in every commercial for Rock Band 2 and so on and so forth. So I made this post that said, the James fanboys say that we copy. Okay? And of course, the first three posts had to be what? Flames. So, of course, my response to that, and one of them was, does this really matter? And my response back to that, no, it don't matter. But it sounds dumb, don't it? I made that post to everybody that this sounds really stupid to say you're a GH fanboy or you're a Harmonix fanboy. It's dumb. Let it go. Choose to like one or both or don't. But all this, why can't we just have two games that might be awesome, that might have some music that we might have an opinion about? I'm sure Harmonix knows that people's going to buy both games. I'm sure Activision knows people's going to buy both games. So Harmonix don't need to hear it 24-7. So just to get that out of my system a little bit. That's why I always try to tell you guys, this is not coming from a fanboyish state. If Activision proves me wrong and keeps up, I'll come back on video and say they proved me wrong. But right now they got more to prove, even with the cool features they got because they put their foot in their mouth for the last several months. That's the biggest problem, okay? Um, let's talk about a couple of modes real quick while we're going through here so I can start to wrap this up. Band World Tour mode is going to be in both. Battle of the Bands are going to be in both. There's going to be some significant differences though, and these are be some differences that you guys want to know. For one, Battle of the Bands on harmonic standpoint isn't going to be the traditional four-band, uh, four-people band versus four-person band. 